This is just a table of contents to go along with uh, my introduction and explaining what my um, my non-fictional story would be about uh, with the table of contents. Okay, chapter one talks about ancient antiquities' views on something akin to race as they unfolded the past, as they unfolded the first one-drop rule concept that grew the controversies of today and the Caucasus Mountains, and the myths of the people that jump-started ideas of purity. Chapter 2 goes into more BCE ideology and heredity properties, into Christian spermism slash pre-formationism, then splits, up, splits off about young Darwin and Mendel becoming parallel important figures, among others. Chapter 3, Darwinian, Mendelian, and cytology revolutions that unfortunately paved the way into ancient biases in, our, in a time of secularism. Chapter 4 talks about how the agriculture we raised for thousands of years, flowers, peas, and even flies that were studied for elusive particles, became the, blue, the blueprint for humanity eventually, though it was always fantasized about in human lore and judgments by physical appearance, morphing into the American eugenics movement and the one-drop rule in the 21st century and perverting the Mendelian laws that were used for actual science and vegetation. That kind of repeats another chapter a little bit, but yeah. Chapter, uh, chapter 5 goes into America inspiring the rights revolution in India and the Nazi law having picked up America legislation. Although Hitler and the Nazis were disgusted by the protection, by their protection of the Jews, they admired the American race realism and its immigration policies. There, there was one thing they thought was harsh, the one drop rule, coming up with their own, and I quote, less extreme version, calling the calling it the three grandparents rule. Chapter six will go into current political events in the 21st century, where the idea of race is heavily polarized. Facts about slavery and injustice in America are cast aside by conservatives as critical race theory and gaslight any liberal or leftist that stands up or kneels for something worth talking about.